The culprit apparently is man himself. The more fossil fuels we burn, the greater the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. According to research conducted by doctors Roger Revelle, Dave Keeling, and Robert Bacasto, the CO2 creates a greenhouse effect, blocking the escape of heat at night from the sun-warmed Earth. That's caused a slight but steady rise in the Earth's temperature. That could lead to climate changes, perhaps by the turn of the century. Changes which could, for instance, melt polar ice caps and cause flooding of coastal areas. Probably the most serious consequence would be from a change in the distribution of rainfall. Rainfall would be increased on, on the average, but its distribution would be changed. And this could have very serious consequences for agriculture, particularly in the United States. Which countries would likely benefit from a shift in that rainfall? Well, probably uh, Canada, Soviet Union, and possibly uh, along the Arab countries along the uh, Mediterranean. Bacasto says nuclear power is a necessity, but admits there are equally serious hazards there, too. He and his colleagues have advised Congress of their findings, urging that certain energy use decisions be made, and soon. Says Bacasto, dramatic climate disruptions are in the near future, too near to ignore. Dave Cohen, News 8.